guys, welcome back to our channel. Hot by Ebanks. I'm Sasha. And I'm Rory. And today we're going to show you how we screened, screened in, in our, our patio. patio. did this project with less than eight thousand dollars we were able to achieve a screening patio and the cost was very based on your size um, as you see we have a lot of grill and open space so we used a few things we used the mosquito mesh and velcro and some glue, glue. and a glue gun <laughs> that's basically what we use or what you need to get this project done so we also use the, sew the sewing machine and it is optional so we what we wanted to do is give you options in terms of how you can affix the mosquito mesh so we use the glue option and also the sewing machine option right so the cost of the items were we paid seventy dollars per square foot for the velcro and roughly 135 dollars per square foot for the mosquito mesh and it's they have two different sizes we chose a six feet wide size and we paid how much? $40, $40 per stick, stick of glue. And we used about 20 sticks in this. So you'll see the steps now. Let's jump right in. Come Rory. Tell our DIY family what we're working on today. Trying to get rid of some mosquitoes. <laughs> Can't get rid of them, but we can try and keep them out. Yeah, so we uh, have our patio space. You guys would have seen our yeah, lovely furniture. patio furniture. <laughs> so to enjoy the space even more, we plan to screen in the patio area. So we came up with an idea by using the mosquito mesh. So we got this mosquito mesh from Super Value. We paid $135 per, per foot. <laughs> and the size that we got is six feet tall and we got 36 feet. So the idea is that we're gonna use a mosquito mesh and we're gonna affix it to the wall of the, where the grills are. And how we're going to affix it is, it's pretty different. So we're going to use Velcro. Because we want something that we can easily pull it off or release if we need to change it up or if we need to clean the grills or clean the mesh itself. So it's like a quick release. So we're going to use glue gun and Velcro. We plan to affix the velcro well it's going to be on the outside yeah we're going to do it on the outside instead but we're going to affix the velcro here and also the next side of the velcro will be affixed to the mesh that we cut out and then it will just be a simple snatch on and release when we want it to yeah we know that velcro is pretty strong so it should be robust and flexible and easy to use and that's that's the idea so let's let's execute and see if it works if the velcro is not able to stick with the glue gun onto the mesh we have plan b which is Sasha is going to sew the velcro onto the mesh and then we're still going to glue, glue that velcro onto the wall so any option we take, we know that we have to glue the velcro onto the wall. So what is now, Rory? What is this? Mosquito mesh. Where you get this? Yeah, so I purchased this from Super Value and it is, I think I said it's fiberglass mesh, so it's not, it's not the regular metal mesh that 
you're used to. That we oh, would see um, them use and sit sun and them things here. It feels good. Uh, yeah. Can you say it's strong? Huh? Ruru, but why I you gonna rip up the sun? Too strong. You're too strong, you? Yeah? My god. So, how much time you measure? Once. No, if you measure one time, you cut two times. Yeah, so measure once, cut twice. No, so we're not <laughs> that. So I hope you measure two or three times. Yeah, so measure three times just to be safe. And cut, cut one once. time, so we don't waste no material. Yeah, so the measurement is six feet tall, and this is already six six feet. Wide. Oh, so we're going to use the width. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. whichever way you take it, yeah. it's six feet wide. So and we just need 70. Then it's 75 and three quarter inches wide. So we'll cut 75 and 3 quarter inches from this, from the yeah. long side. All right. So guys, as usual, when we cut anything, the first thing that we do is to ensure that the first edge is straight. So we're just lining it up with the grout line now, and then we'll cut on the grout line, and then we'll cut the other side. Just want to make sure so we start with a straight edge. guys we're about to do a dry fit test fit to see if we cut it right yeah hopefully we're not for cut again right here rory is measuring out the velcro that we're going to need for this first application there are two types of velcro that you have at your disposal there's one with the adhesive and there's one without for this project we got the velcro without the adhesive because our wall is kind of coarse and we weren't sure that the adhesive would stick on it so we opted to use a glue gun instead See, we have glued on the velcro onto the wall. All right, quick tip the glue gun it dries pretty pretty fast, like within a few seconds. So, initially, we wanted to just apply all the glue onto the velcro and then just make one stick on. However, we saw that it dried too fast, so we literally had to cut out this section because it wasn't sticking onto the wall. So we took a shorter or slower approach and we glued maybe like every three inches, sticked on and glued and sticked on. But it's it's holding. It's not as straight as we would want, but you're not gonna see the difference really. Um, so the next step is we're gonna finish gluing all the velcro around and then we're gonna glue or sew the velcro onto the mesh. This is why we're doing it. There's a beer mosquito over here. Like the mother does take me up and take me away. All right, so as Rory said, guys, we're going to try two different types of application with the velcro and the mesh we're going to try to sew sew one and we're going to try to glue the other one to see which one of them we prefer which one of them is easier and give you guys an option as well because not everybody has a sewing machine so i'm not a seamstress but maybe attempt to sew on the velcro here and we'll see how it goes let's go enough trying and error 
finally got it right so let me just tell you what I did um, I used the smallest stitch what you call it stitch width I don't know the terms but use the smallest stitch width and I'll show I'll show it to you shortly here here yeah um, so I use the smallest stitch on the sewing machine and I tighten the tension a little bit because I guess this fabric is being seen as loose I don't know I tighten the tension on the top thread and everything kind of come together so I am using a 18 gauge needle and upholstery thread one clear one the clear upholstery thread and I'm done so I was able to sew it right around and I didn't sew it too close to the edge so uh, if you're doing this cut it with like a half inch seam allowance to ensure that you have a sew allowance so I'm going to go dry fit this now and make sure it's it look nice make sure it's it functional come to the boss finish him glue up Start glue the other side, and we hope to finish this entire patio today. So let's see. <laughs> based on what we experienced with the sewn side it was a little bit hard to tuck the edges in so we imagine that this should be easier to come together and make an edge but we'll see when we try to put it up this should be easier to edge we'll see but yeah here we go We have completed this section. Still have the part here for mat out. See exactly how we're going to incorporate this gate. But um, we'll let you know what we'll come up with. Still working on this. All right, guys. So we have to engineer this, mat this out. So from this to this. from this to this and this is our sewing guys after we do the measurements we have to do cutouts and for the joints instead of gluing with sew it I, mean, I think it come out very very much neater so we're gonna put this up and then we'll see how the finished product looks. So this is it, we're done. This one was sewn. This one was sewn. The Velcro was sewn onto the edges and this one was glued. Um, so out of everything, we think the sewing did easier because the gluing did take longer. The reason when we sewed it, we didn't give enough space. Oh, the allowance wasn't there because this was the first one that we sewed, and the allowance wasn't there, so that was the first mistake. So, so when we 
yeah so it was too tight so when we did the other ones we left a one inch allowance around it to ensure that when we sew it we had that allowance so this is the second one that we sewed and this is this did neat so the fabric wasn't big enough we had to join it and we decided to glue this one and it wasn't as neat as we thought it would have been but um, we sewed some other ones so we'll show you those I'm a prefer the sewing method than the gluing method to join the fabric together yeah, so we just need to clean up that join yeah we still need to clean up that join and guys be careful with this fabric because so ours had a evident fold in it and where it where the fold was we got a lot of tears and so we did have to glue the tear them which you can't see from afar but if you zoom up on it then you'll definitely see a few tears or we did have to glue up but outside of that the fabric is nice not as strong as not as strong as they said or as we thought it would have been the next part now this is the part that we expected would have given us some trouble especially because our grill locks are on the inside so we created two different type of locks and this was just our ingenious, ingenious engineering <laughs> so this option so after we, after we created our screen we realize yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't access the the grill the, the padlocks. from outside so so we created a flap and what we have done also is we use the same velcro as hooks to open up this flap so we literally cut it out and because we didn't want the mesh to tear any further so we use the velcro to seal the edges and also the glue and also you don't want to scratch yourself on the edges of these so this is one option and then this is a cleaner option where we decided to cut the velcro closer to the grill so we didn't have to seal here and of course Tuesday wants to go inside so this one we only use one velcro up here and the velcro up here is very important because so you don't want the cut to spread upwards so we glued on here to ensure that it, it didn't lift and cause any spreading of the cut or the tear any additional tears so this we prefer this so this looks neater however this is more stronger but my prefer this i guess based on looks yeah so there you have it guys we screened in our porch and i mean if you don't have a door in the porch because we did have to really engineer this um this part of it because we're using velcro on the side it would be too tight so we put the velcro on it we saw the velcro on it but then we had to glue it to the actual grill around the door let's see this is a better angle around the door to make it work so it's a very tight now over time or we will make us use a, a razor and, and shave razor. shave some of the hairs <laughs> <laughs> so that the fabric is a little flatter on the inside but all in all guys i think this was a really good project thank you so much for watching and if you try this at home definitely send us pictures or videos of it and i'm hoping that this will block out a lot of the mosquitoes that we get in the evenings so thanks for watching guys like subscribe share comments <laughs>